I will just take your 10 seconds of time and explain what all we have covered in this series of three different videos. So this was the first video where we have created multiple PDF invoices from a Excel data. And this is the next video where we are going to generate the PDF and then we will and then we will attach those PDF while sending the email. And in this video, we are going to discuss about how to send email for and to support me, please hit the like button and mention your feedback in comment. So right now you can see on your screen, there are two different macros. In first one, I am trying to read all the rows from the Excel and I have covered that in a video in details. So you have the link on the top and the link will be in the description of this video. And the second one is how to generate a mail object. So now what we have to do is we have to combine both of these because we have to send email for all of this data, which right now you can see on your screen. And I am going to use these email IDs. So when we are reading and we are going through each and we are going through each row of Excel here, we have to add this code so code for email will come here. And when we send the Outlook email, then we create the email object. So email object has to be created only once in entire loop. You have, you will not have to open the Outlook again and again. Outlook will be opened only once. So this part will also come here. But for each time we have to create a different email object. So this part will come inside this. And this clear email object will come here just after the loop because we have to close the email after we have completed with all the row items. Okay. Now let's see this in practical. I will go to my Excel, right click on the Excel, view code. I hope you can see entire code on your screen. This is the complete code to send email for each row. Before we run this, we have to add reference also. So for Outlook, the reference is you have to go in Tools, References. So I have already selected this Office and you can just go ahead and you can use this Outlook library also. Can It depends on your Excel version. So you can select this. Okay. Yes, one more important thing, whatever you see after apostrophe comma, that is not the that is not the macro code, that is the simple comment for the understanding. Now what we are doing that we are getting the last row of the part of the sheet. So after getting the last row, we are starting loop from here. This email is coming from K column, right? The K column. And this is coming from A column order number. Let's have a look on the sheet. So K column and A column. All right, this counter will change like K1, K2, and same here K1, A2, A3 like that. Then we are creating an email item for each row, and then we are setting up some to whom to send the email. What should be the subject? Okay. And if you want to use variable data, what you can do is you can just break your string into quotations and then in the later part also you can use. This is how you can pass your variables and if you want you can keep this static, remove this from here and then we are updating the status. into O column. After that, we are going in the next row. Once all the emails are sent, we are setting the Outlook email as Outlook object as nothing. I hope you got the code now. You can pause the video here, have a look. If you don't understand any line, please mention the line number and the timing on this video. I will explain, I will answer your query. Okay, so before I run this code, you can have a look on these 
lines email IDs. I am going back now. And just minimize this file. And I will take this cursor there so that you can see the status. Okay, so let's run this code now and see. So you can see everywhere it is updated as done. And I will go to Outlook now. So it is syncing the email. So you can see the timing here. And you can see the timing here as well. Alright, so these all the emails are sent. And you can see the variable data is also coming here. You can add any text here. Okay, so I hope this video was useful for you. In the next video, what we are going to cover, so we will have a big template and then we will replace these items and we will read the data from the text file. So we will read the email template for text file and then we will change this data for each of the customer. So let's meet in the next video and see how to use proper email templates. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day ahead.